In this video, I will walk you through the Sales Handy software. So Sales Handy is an email marketing software that you can use to scale your cold email outreach. Now here in the website, you can see there is a seven day free trial. You don't need a credit card and you can connect unlimited email accounts. So this is all good to know before we get started. Now here in the pricing tab, you can see the plans that Sales Handy has. So as you can see, you can start a seven day free trial for any of these. And it goes from $25 per month all the way up to $219 per month. And here you can see what you get inside of each of these plans. So pick the plan that best suits with what you need to do. I will just choose the outreach basic one for now. So let's click on start seven day free trial. Now just go ahead and enter your work email right here. Then click on get started now. Then sign up to start your free trial. So enter your first name, last name, your email that you just entered, your phone number and your password. Then go ahead and click on sign up. Now here fill in these questions. So what is your job role? I will say founder. Then what is your purpose for using sales handy? I will say lead generation. How many prospects you might contact using sales handy? I will say 2000 to 40,000. Then which industry do you work in? I'll say marketing and advertising, your company size. Have you ever used a cold email outreach tool like Sales Handy before? How do you outreach your prospects slash contacts? Now upon creating your account, this is what you will see. So here you can create your first sequence. But before we do this, I will walk you through these tabs right here. So here you can see the unified inbox. This is where you can keep track of all your responses from your sales handy emails. Then here you can add in your prospects. So you can click on add a prospect or you can export them. Then here in the one on one email insights, you can track your emails. Then here in the email warm up, you can actually go and warm up your emails. Then under templates here, you have a few templates for your emails. So you can click on new template. Under reports, you can see more analytics from your emails. So you can see your prospects added, how many have replied, clicked, contacted, opened, and more. Then here under settings, you can do all of your settings. And then these two, you probably won't need to use. These are the growth hub and the agency portal. So for now, let's click on sequences. So this is where you can actually go ahead and make your sequence. So let's click on create a sequence. Now click on add step. So step one is your email. So enter a subject. So whatever you want your email to be about, I will just say hi. Then here you can enter the body of your text. So let's say hello everyone. Then here in the right, you can see if your email is spammy, if it includes links. So they suggest minimal usage of links. Then if it is personalized and the subject length. Then you can choose when you want to send this. So currently it is sent on day one when you enter a prospect. So this is the first email that will be sent. Now you can send a test email to your email address right here. So just enter your email address. Then let's click on save right here. And now this is on day one when we enter a prospect. So you can also add variants so that you can discover the best email. And then you can also add a step. So let's say we want to do this one day after step one. So that will be the second day. Then here you can enter a new email. So for example, in the first one, you just introduced yourself. And in this one, you pitch something, something like that. Now here you can also customize it a bit. For example, first name, last name, email, phone number, job title, industry, company, for example, first name, watch this. And this will be automatically to their first name that has been entered into your prospect section. So then you can also go off of a template. So let's click on template. So here are the templates for sales. So quick email addressing pain points, upselling and more. You have templates for lead generation. So first outreach selling feature to benefit. And you have a few more different types of emails right here. So let's say we want to do an addressing pain points email. Then here you can see what this template looks like. So it will be hello first name and then everything it says right here. So you can also save this to your templates if you want to use this again. And then here you can see this template. So now let's use this template. 
Now of course we want to customize this a little bit, so this we will keep the same. I noticed that you might be experiencing difficulties with specific issue. So then you want to enter in the specific issue right here and then leave this to the company. So just fill in everything that is in between one bracket like this and the double ones you can keep and enter your name and do whatever you want and then click on save. So now you can see on day one they will receive this email. Then on day two they will receive this email. So let's add a variation. Make an example right here. So now you have email A and email B. So there you can see which one performs the best and you can turn one of them off. So for example, let's say email B is the best performing and you want to keep this one. Then you can go ahead and disable this one. So now as you can see only email B will be delivering. Now this is just the steps section right here. You can also see prospects. So here you can add in your prospects. So let's click on add prospects. There you can import via CSV or you can search and add. So just select the one that you want. Let's say I want to add these people right here and then click on add. So now you have your prospects right here. You can see the total and how many you have contacted. Then here you can add an outcome when you are done. So interested, not interesting, meeting booked, closed or whatever you see right here. Now here under emails, you can see the emails that you have sent. So right here you can see in step one, we have sent zero emails so far, same for step two, etc. Then you can see how many have been scheduled, delivered, how many have been opened, clicked, replied to, and when they have bounced and how many filled. Now here under the sequence score, you can see the score that sales handy gives to your campaign. So as you can see, your sequence score is below average right now. Now here you can see what you can do to make this higher. So for this example, as you can see, the sequence setup has a score of 55, the email writing has a score of 51, the email setup has a score of zero. So then here you can see what you can do. And now you can also go over these individually. So as you can see, email setup score indicates the health of email account link accounts linked in the sequence and is a vital part of the overall sequence setup. So we have an email score of zero because we don't have any email accounts associated with SalesHandy yet. So you can go ahead and click on add new email account. And then here you can add an email account that you want to deliver the emails from. So a great feature that SalesHandy offers is that you can have unlimited email accounts. Now let's go back to the sequence score and here for the sequence setup. Now here you can see what is all optimized and what may not be optimized and what you should change. So just go ahead and follow all of these steps right here. So make sure these are all green checks and make this score as high as possible so that your sequence is likely to get good results. Then once you go back into the sequence homepage right here, you want to actually turn on the sequence that you have created. So to do this, what you want to do is go ahead and toggle this on. And now as you can see, a verification email has been sent to your email. So just go ahead and open your email and verify your email account. So now click on this button again. Now they will ask you, are you sure you want to activate the sequence? So let's click on yes. And now you need to add your email account to start a sequence. So I will add my Google account. And now as you can see, I have added in this Google account. So let's go back to the sequence right here and click on this button one more time, then click on yes. And now as you can see, this sequence is active. So now let's open this. Then go to emails. And now as you can see, this used to say scheduled zero. Now it says scheduled four, since people receive an email after the first day. So these prospects right here will be receiving the step one email. So then here you can go ahead and check how many have been sent, opened and replied to. And then you can just track which emails perform best and then optimize it accordingly. If you would like to try Sales Handy and get a seven day free trial, you can sign up with the affiliate link down in the description. Now, if this tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.